prior to the war breaking out, i.e. the Japanese attacking Pearl Harbor, we knew that we were going to go to war and they began a draft. The punch bowl in Washington, D.C. had a bunch of numbers in it and the Secretary of War pulled the number. I believe it was 358 was my father's number. He was drawn and sent to the Texas 36 Infantry Division. He arrived with them in January of 1941. It was supposed to be for six months, but prior to his six months being up, they extended it for another six months. Hence, he was supposed to be discharged in January of 1942. As we all know, Pearl Harbor was hit December 7 of 40, 1941. Hence, my father was in for the duration. The division was sent from Camp Bowie in Texas to Louisiana for the maneuvers. After that, they ended up in Florida for invasion maneuvers. Then they went up to Massachusetts. Again, more maneuvers, this time at Martha's Vineyards. Finally, they were set, sent on the boat from New York and they arrived in Africa in April of 43. The Texas 36 Infantry Division was picked to be the spearhead of Operation Avalanche. Now then, Sicily had already fallen. On September 9, 1943, the Texas 36 Infantry Division spearheaded the invasion at Salerno, Italy. My father was in the second wave. The Germans knew that they were coming. The spies in Africa had informed them of the troops getting on the ships. The Luftwaffe had seen the Armada in the Mediterranean. The Germans just did not know where they were going to land. Hence, they reinforced all of the beaches on the Tyranian Sea. The 36th Division landed in the Bay of Salerno, specifically in front of Paestum, which is a Greek colony from 500 BC. My father told me that they rode the boats about 12 miles in. He was terribly seasick. There was no pre-invasion artillery bombardment as Mark Clark thought that it would be a surprise attack. But the British and other sectors were using shipboard artillery in order to soften up the beach. Where the Texans landed, the second regiment of the 16th Panzer Division was waiting for them. They were veterans of Stalingrad. It took nine days for them to secure the beach. The Germans had the high ground. They were in the mountains and they had their 88s behind the mountains. Once the Texans broke out of Salerno, they were given a little R&R, &R, and then they went back into the line. They were at Venafro, which not many people have heard about. It was a terrible battle. They fought at Monte Lungo. They fought at San Pietro. They fought up in the mountains of Italy, where they sustained, again, very high casualties. On the 20th of January, 1944, the Texas 36 Infantry Division was forced to cross the Rapido River, or the Gari River, in front of strong German fortifications, the 15th Panzer Grenadier. The 141st and the 143rd were decimated. They were supposed to cross the third night, but it was called off because the, the division was basically no longer combat ready. It had taken months for the 5th Army to move anywhere after the invasion of Salerno once they got stuck at Monte Cassino and Anzio. But because the 36th Division broke the Germans back at Velletri at the end of May, on the 4th of June, the Texas 36th Infantry Division entered Rome from the south. They are the only army in history to conquer Rome from the south. The Germans declared Rome an open city, hence there was no fighting in the city. They retreated to the northern portion of the city. The Texans drove through it. 
The Texas 36th Infantry was, Division was pulled out of the line in Italy. They were sent down to Salerno, where they prepared for the invasion of southern France. On August 15, 1944, the Texas 36th Infantry Division invaded southern France around Fréjoux, Saint-Maxime, Saint-Tropez, in the Côte d'Azur, a beautiful area of southern France. The Germans had everything mined. The Germans were overrun very quickly. It only took a few days before the Texas 36th Infantry Division made it up to Montelamar, where they cut off a German army. There was a fierce battle. They were responsible for destroying a German army, capturing very many of them. The Texas 36th Infantry Division fought across Germany. They were part of the group that liberated the subcamps of Dachau. The 36th Infantry Division ended the war in Austria. Their last tank was knocked out in Kufstein, Austria. The war was over. As my father had been rotated home on the point system in June of 1944, he attended OCS and became an officer. Once he was an officer, he began to train the troops that were going to Germany as he had been in combat against the Germans. When the Germans surrendered, my father told me he was then put on the train to go to the West Coast in order to get ready for the invasion of Japan. Here he goes, another invasion. He told me while they were on the train, they received news that a bomb had been dropped on Japan, which is going to end the war. He said, we had dropped millions of bombs. None of us understood how a bomb was going to end the war, but we just wanted to go home. We didn't want to have to invade anywhere else, and we didn't want to fight anybody else. We wanted to go home. My father was discharged from Camp Lee, Virginia in November of 1945 as a second lieutenant. The Texas 36th Infantry was the first American division to crack Hitler's continental fortress Europe. Nine months before Normandy, they came out of North Africa and invaded southern Italy. The Texas 36th Infantry Division lost several thousand men at the beach at Salerno. After the war, they were deactivated and turned into the National Guard again, and then they became the 49th Armored Division. Only in 2004 were their f colors unfurled and was the 36th Infantry Division activated again. Today we see their tea patch on young soldiers, but it's now khaki colored and not blue.